All right, guys, so I got to respond to this one. Okay, I got to respond to this one because these uh, left-wing clowns, particularly those on late-night talk shows and daytime TV, really, uh, have revealed themselves for the tyrants they really are. And uh, Chief Crybaby comedian uh, Jimmy Kimmel, whom, again, you know, guys, I don't really know who these people are all that much. I never watched an episode of Jimmy Kimmel, I must admit. I'm not a fan of TV, guys. I don't even own a TV. If it ain't on YouTube, then I probably didn't watch it. But I don't do know who these people are because I am plugged in on social media, the internet. So I have seen some of his clips online, but I've never watched the full show. And before I get into this, I got to make the same disclaimer I always make when I make videos about the mask, the vaccine, the pandemic, the virus, whatever. I'm not making any claim about the mask, the vaccine, the pandemic, the virus. If you have any questions about that, please consult your doctor, right? Please consult your medical professional. I am simply discussing public policy, okay? <laughs> but Crybaby Kimmel, um, and I know he's a crybaby because most of the things I see of him is him crying, right? Those are his videos that go viral. Um, basically came out and uh, ripped unvaccinated people and says that they don't deserve ICU beds if hospitals get overcrowded. Now, I am not going to actually play the video because of copyright stuff, but I will read a quote essentially of what he said and then I want to give you guys my opinion because guys you know i tell you i i hate how politicized this pandemic has become right and i've made the argument to you guys that the polarization and the political aspect of this pandemic is not helping us whatsoever it is tearing us apart right and a lot of this is coming from the left and how do i know this well i mean let's look at joe rogan the left was literally celebrating the fact that Joe Rogan got COVID-19. Hello, friends. So I got back from the road Saturday night feeling very weary. I had a headache and I just felt just run down. And just to be cautious, I separated from my family, slept in a different part of the house. And throughout the night, I got fevers and sweats and I knew what was going on. So I got up in the morning, got tested, and it turns out I got COVID. And I kid you not, guys, there were people on the left that literally were kind of happy that Joe Rogan got COVID, right? I mean, just like salivating at the idea that <laughs> this man might die from COVID-19 just because of some stuff that he said on his podcast, right? Because of his political opinion, his worldview on things. This is the so-called tolerant left, Okay. The tolerant left. That's what they call themselves when they are really the most intolerant people in this country. And Jimmy Kimmel is essentially doing that right now when it comes to unvaccinated people. As he basically went on his show and he said, quote, it was not a fun Labor Day weekend, COVID was. He said, referring to the rise in cases from the same time in 2020 as a penance for their decision not to get the vaccine. Unvaccinated people should be denied a place in hospitals if they need care. Kimmel suggested Quote, Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're going to have to make some very uh, tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. Kimmel said that choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Mm -hmm. Vaccinated person having a heart attack. Yes. Come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo. Rest in peace. Wheezy. Rest in peace. Wheezy, guys. That is what crybaby Kimmel says on national tv right on national television these are the people who, who claim to uh want to come together in unity right they claim that they want a less polarized political environment right they they claim that they are trying to protect other people but yet statements like this is the reason why we can't come together and actually have an understanding with each other about this pandemic and the best way to move forward for the good of this country, right? We can't because people like Jimmy Kimmel, uh, again, are essentially um, talking about unvaccinated people like they're second class citizens. This man is openly calling for discrimination against American citizens because of the health care choices that they make, right? Their own personal health decisions. You're calling for discrimination against these people. He wasn't even smart enough to really make a distinction, okay? He just made a overarching statement. If you're unvaccinated, then hospitals should let you die, right? Even if you come in 
You're unvaccinated. You test negative for COVID and you're having a heart attack. This man, Jimmy Kimmel, in his ideal world is saying, well, I guess you kind of got to let that person die because they're unvaccinated, even though they don't have COVID. They're unvaccinated. Doesn't matter if the, the illness has nothing to do with the virus whatsoever. Simply because they're unvaccinated, then they, I guess they got to die. And I wonder if Jimmy Kimmel would say that about his son, right, who has a heart condition, right? His three to four year old son who he went on national TV and cried about, you know, three and four years old, as far as I, I know, again, um, uh, more than likely hasn't received the COVID-19 vaccine. I, I'm not sure if kids under 12 can actually get it yet, but I'm assuming he's unvaccinated. Would you say the same thing if your son uh, had to go to the ICU? Would you be saying the same thing about that? Right? He's technically unvaccinated. Just saying. Again, these are the same people that scream healthcare is a right. Right? That's what we hear from the far left. Healthcare is a right. Nobody should be denied healthcare in this country. But now all of a sudden when it comes to this, people are talking about denying people healthcare. Based off their own healthcare choices. Somebody make it make sense to me. Because Jimmy Kimmel, whether he realizes it or not, you know, he's discriminating against people who the left claims to care about so much. Because a disproportionate amount of the unvaccinated come from low incomes, right? People who probably struggle to get access to quality health care in the first place. According to the far left, that is, right? And ain't that what you guys always preaching about? Running around here talking about Bernie Sanders style universal health care because of low income people and their access to quality health care so you're discriminating against low income people not only that we all know that black and hispanic people tend to be more vaccine hesitant right they are disproportionately more unvaccinated so not only are you discriminate against low income people you're also discriminating against black and hispanic people also on top of that again a disproportionate amount of people that are unvaccinated tend to be younger younger people so do you guys see what's going on here? Do you guys see what Jimmy Kimmel is doing here? He's essentially calling for healthcare discrimination against low income people, black and Hispanic people, and people who are younger. And throw white evangelicals in there as well. People who may be hesitant because of religious reasons. I don't know. That's what he's calling for. And this is the same guy who went on national TV to boohoo, whine, and cry about black folks and all these other liberal causes, right? You're the first person to boohoo and cry. But when it comes to this, though, all of a sudden, you know, you got a cold heart, brother, right? You got a cold heart, right? All of a sudden, the sympathy has went away. Crybaby Kimmel turned into cold-hearted Kimmel. When the people that are most affected by the things that you're advocating for are those who you claim you love so much, who you claim you care about so much. Again, inconsiderate of any of the circumstances in terms of why those people may or may not be vaccinated. When these are the same people, they can come up with every excuse in the book for why uh, certain people uh, can't vote in this country, allegedly can't vote in this country, right? They come up with every excuse in the book. Well, they're working all the time. They're working overtime. They don't have time, right? IDs are racist. I believe you need an ID. You need to show an ID to get a vaccine, <laughs> right? <laughs> Inconsiderate. And again, guys, I already told you my stance on the whole vaccine thing. I'm like, listen, if you get it, fine, great. Good for you. If you don't have it, hey, look, it ain't my decision. That's your life, right? I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm gonna keep doing me. <laughs> I'm not gonna live my life and fear nobody else and their healthcare decisions. I'm just not. That's just me personally. But for whatever reason, some people see that as an unreasonable stance, right? That's, it's unreasonable. If you are, hey, man, you can make your own choices. I'm not your dad, right? I'm not your dad, okay? But, you know, people like Jimmy Kennel and Joe Biden, they want to be your dad, right? They want the government to be daddy. And like I said, this desire for the government and these Hollywood celebrities and all these so-called left-wing influencers to want to have this paternal relationship with the American people in regards to this vaccine, I think, again, is not in the best interest of actually convincing people to actually go get it, right? I think it actually makes people more hesitant than they otherwise would be because there are people in this country that 
uh, across all political spectrums, across all races, for various reasons, for <laughs> some good reasons historically, right? They're just skeptical of the government, right? And when the government throws their stamp of approval on something, people get skeptical about it. It is what it is. So you got people like um, Jimmy Kimmel and the Hollywood elites and people like uh, Joe Biden coming out here issuing mandates and basically scolding people uh, just for being unvaccinated. I don't think they're working in their own best interest. I really don't. I think they're making people more skeptical than they otherwise would be. So I, again, like I said, a thousand times, the left, they're doing themselves a disservice. Every time they open up their mouth and they talk about, you know, unvaccinated people as second uh, class citizens, they're doing themselves a disservice. They're not moving themselves in the direction that they claim they want to go in because they're creating a more polarized environment where people are just not listening to each other. And, and again, a part of that is, is again, calling to treat unvaccinated people as second class citizens and essentially saying that they should not receive health care treatment simply because of their vaccination status this is what they claim they're supposed to be against but they've showed their true colors when it comes to you know this pandemic they really have they've shown that they're not tolerant that if you disagree with them politically on anything it's okay to be racist towards you. It's okay to discriminate against you, right? They even, again, in Joe Rogan's case, some of these people entertained by the idea that he could have died from catching COVID. Again, like I say, it's disgusting. It's sickening. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.